All right, so you know I can't uh, leave well enough alone. Got a brand new trailer and already going to start modifying. Um, so this is kind of a simple one. It's um, not really, you know, modifying anything structural or that's actually a problem. It's just um, kind of adding uh, extra storage for me. So uh, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So these trailers have um, kind of these big empty pockets in the um, the ramps here, and I noticed that my blocking and my scotches and all that stuff fit in there really good. So I said, well, that'd be a good place to put them, but uh, obviously they could fall out going down the road, you know, hit a bump or something other, and I don't want that, so. What I'm going to do is kind of make a way to uh, keep them from falling out of there. That way I can leave them in there and leave my the tongue box on the trailer, um, you know, freed up for binders and chains and straps and such. So, um, let me show you kind of what I'm going to do here uh, to uh, hopefully accomplish this. Okay, so kind of what my plan is, is basically... I'm going to take a ratchet strap and stretch across the back like this. So what I'm going to need to do is drill a hole in each end of the ramp, kind of like that. So it'll be somewhere in that vicinity, like that. So what I'll do is drill a hole here, and then I'll drill a hole and over here in this side so the strap will be hopefully roughly centered up over these holes and keep anything from being able to fall out so that's my plan anyway and so that's what we're going to do just drill a couple holes and then these straps you can see i've already marked it i'm going to cut off the excess and then you know maybe sew it back like this so i have a little handle and then it's not too long and then um, I'll just leave these on here. That way, uh, basically just loosen it up enough to get your straps out, and uh, or loosen the strap up enough to get your blocks out, and then put them back, tighten it up, done. That way, none of these will fall out because of the strap. So let's uh, let's measure, mark these holes to drill, and um, drill some holes in here. Okay, so <clears throat> looks like about six and seven eighths is about where I want the hole from the from the top edge here. So I'm going to replace the hooks with these carabiners that way they don't come loose. Um, I bought these carabiners that had this little metal loop in them, so I think that might be in my way. We might have to take that out, but anyway, I'll cut the hooks off, replace with the carabiner that way they don't come loose. And we're actually just going to miss the P on this uh, ramp sticker uh, with the hole. So that's good. Don't have to mess the sticker up. So I'm going to go ahead and measure and lay all these um, holes out and then drill them. And let's probably step back. What do you say? Five eighths of an inch, maybe. Maybe more like a half inch. That should be close enough. So six and seven eighths, and then a half inch. So I'll, I'll mark the rest of them, and uh, we'll get the drill. So just drilling a pilot hole right now, and then we'll enlarge that to till it fits that carabiner.
So all that noise in the ramp is actually <laughs> the blocks of wood and stuff that I have stuck in there. They're just a little squeak come from the ramp, but all that thumping and banging is uh, these blocks of wood. And you can see how they try to come up out of there. Um, they'd be easy to bounce bounce out, I think, and uh, fall out down the road. So that's why I'm gonna put these things on here. So that's a 5 sixteenths hole. Let's see if this carabiner will fit that. Yeah, it fits, but might want to make it just the next size bigger, maybe. Eh, plays a little better with that one, so we'll just do it. We'll drill a 3 eighths. So the 3 8 actually fits the straps anyway. So just in case I ever need to do that again. See that block of wood come out and cause the ramp to get hung. So, yeah, it needs this. Like I said, I'm gonna put carabiners on these and uh, cut off all this excess, but hopefully this will be a good little test here. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, nothing fell out, so I guess that's good. And that's not in the way of anything, so we'll take it. Now these carabiners have this little ring in them. So I know I can't get the strap through that, so I'm gonna have to pop that out or do something. So not sure how easy or hard that's gonna be, but let's see what we can do. So that little ring comes out uh, easier than I thought. I just clamped it in a vise in some aluminum so it didn't mar it up, but this pops out. All right, so there's what I was going for. Obviously, I haven't cut the excess off yet, but um, should keep everything from just dumping out. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a possibility that somehow it wouldn't be tight enough or somehow some of this stuff could possibly work past there, but I doubt it, especially the big stuff. Only ones I really have concern about are these little ones which I may replace them with a little bit longer ones. But anyway, I think there will be no issue. I mean, it'll stop the 6x6s the six six for getting out, uh, from getting out for sure, and also the scotch, you know, the wheel scotches, or wheel chalks. Uh, I'm going to get another pair of those, um, and then I'll stick them in here too. But yeah, should work good. 
give me a place to store this stuff without putting it all in the tongue box and uh, yeah don't look too bad a little bit more color back here to see so it's probably always a good thing but yeah let's measure and mark these cut them off and then uh, I don't know we may sew them into a little loop for a handle there let's do that I marked that one already to cut but I'm gonna re mark them here so I think maybe that long here and then I can fold that over and make a loop and hopefully that's enough slack to loosen them all the way up oh yeah that's plenty of slack what's funny here's the one I marked and that's about exactly <laughs> the same length so cool now we'll take these in cut them off and uh, yeah we'll sew them into a loop uh oh need to make sure we got enough slack to take them off if we need to so if we cut that there fold it into a handle oh yeah there's enough there perfect So, got the holes drilled, the straps fixed. I even sprayed some uh, spray paint uh, sloppily in these holes. So, the extra coating in the runs will probably just protect it better, right? So, anyway, let's see if we can't rub some of that new paint off here because it's still super fresh. There we go. That's what I was going for. Looks good. So those little straps dangling around, I guess I'll add some movement in the winds. Maybe cause people to notice me a little more, I don't know. But yeah, I think it looks good. My initial plan was to drill a hole through all four of these and just slide like a piece of round bar, you know, half inch or something other. Put a couple of, uh, uh, pins in it to keep it in place that way nothing would fall out but these was cheaper and easier less drilling um, you know I could have used the mag drill on the outside holes but these middle ones I'd have to done by hand and that's just a pain so I just figured I'd do this but I still may eventually do that if this don't work out too good or you know, whatever but um, that was like I said that was my plan just to put a piece of round bar through there I think that worked really good so if anybody wants that idea go ahead and use it make you one but um, yeah I think this should work good we'll test it out make sure nothing falls out but um, hopefully it'll stay in place so let's do that Well, 
far nothing fell out. Well, that one's trying to come across the top of it, but it ain't gonna let it. Let's see what this side's done. same thing here they all try to come across the top but uh, they're not able to so worst case scenario raising the ramp something down um, had to fix some of this stuff back so as far as going down the road I don't think we'll have any issues of anything coming out which is what I'm after anyway so yeah awesome at least I know it won't fall out when I flip the ramps up and down. I just have to uh, make sure everything's uh, kind of in place, which it's not going to come out. It's just um, just make me feel better about it. But yeah, good. All right, so uh, let's uh, get on to something else.